Once you have your 5x7 and you're ready to mount it onto mat board, you're going to come over here to the area at the corner of the counter to the matting area and you're going to first pick out some of the dry mount tissue. So the dry mount tissue is typically in a bag in the blue bin, the 11 by 14 bin, um, and there's envelopes of it or bags of it that are eight by 10 in size. Now for the five by seven, you don't need an eight by 10 size piece of tissue for that. So we're actually gonna cut this in half so that we're only using basically what we need, okay? We don't wanna put the photo on the tissue going this direction because that's gonna leave basically nothing that anybody else can use for another photo. So that's gonna waste that whole sheet of tissue just for one photo. So please cut the tissue in half this way so that you have enough for both of your photos or at least can leave the other half for another person to use, okay? So I'm gonna put this on the cutter. Remember, start with the trimmer uh, handle down and I'm gonna slide this over, the, again, this is eight by 10, so I'm gonna slide this over until the edge here is lined up with the five at the top. I have that all the way up against the ruler and then just slide that up to cut that in half. And again, now you have another piece for your second enlargement, um, or you can put that in the scrap box so that somebody else can use that later. But now we have a piece that's gonna fit the photo. It's a little bit big and that's okay because we're gonna end up trimming that down as well. Before we trim it down, we want to attach it to the back of the photo first. So we're gonna come over here to the irons. And remember the irons are what is going to kind of attach the tissue to the photo and then to the mat board so that it stays in place before it goes into the press. All right, so we're gonna hold the tissue down and make sure it's at least going from top to bottom, edge to edge, going that way. And I'm gonna take the iron, just using the very tip of the iron, this like top inch here is all we really need. You don't need to put the whole iron down. So just the very tip, and I'm just going to move that back and forth, try to hold that in place as well. Try to just move that back and forth. It's a little sticky, so that's why it kind of shifts around a little bit. So hold that down tight. Go back and forth with your iron. And notice I'm just kind of staying right in the center. And that should be enough to attach those together. All right, so those are now stuck together right there in the center, all right? And then we can take that over to, back over to the uh, trimmer to trim this down. Now when I trim, this is gonna cut anything hanging over the metal edge here. So first of all, with your white border, if your white border got messed up at all, if it got exposed, if it's black on the edges, uh, or if your picture is completely crooked on there, you can cut the white border off. Um, it does look nice if you can keep it on there, but if you wanna keep it on, do make sure that it's even all the way around. So if it's skinnier on one side and a little bit wider on the other, this one is just barely wider over here, I will want to trim it down so it's the same thickness all the way around, okay? So whatever your thinnest side is, that's what you wanna match all the way around, all right? So I'm gonna line this up, and again, my tissue is not going off the edge at the top or the bottom, um, but we could still trim those a little bit if we need to. But I'm gonna put this all the way up against the ruler at the top, and I'm gonna make sure that it is just barely, basically I have the edge of my picture lined up there with the uh, metal edge so that when I cut, sliding that up, that's gonna trim off basically just the tissue, maybe a little bit of the uh, actual picture, just got a tiny little bit there. Um, but now that that tissue should be going to the edge, okay? And if it's not, I'm actually gonna put this down so I can trim this a little bit better. If it's not, you can trim a little bit more. All right, just make sure you're holding it down. Slide that up to cut, okay? And that trimmed a little bit better. So now I can turn that. And again, if this edge is a little bit thicker than the other sides, then I wanna trim that too. And I do see a little bit of tissue hanging off there. So I am going to trim that 
just so I'm just cutting a tiny bit of the white border off of the picture and then putting that edge at the top. This side is a little bit wider, so I am gonna take a little bit more off of the white border. Okay, so you can see that's trimming a little bit more. And then maybe just a tiny bit off the top as well, just to make sure. I wanna make sure that my tissue goes all the way out. I'm gonna trim this tissue a little bit more here. You wanna make sure the tissue goes all the way out to the edges of your picture without it showing from underneath. So basically they need to be the exact same size. So that's why you're sticking the tissue on first and then trimming them down together so that you don't have any tissue showing from underneath. All right, so I still have this side that's a little bit um, skinnier than my other side. So I'm gonna trim this one. It's better to trim just a little bit at a time instead of trimming too much all at once. Okay, so I think that looks a lot better. Now that I have that trimmed down and it's attached, I can then pick out what mat board I want. So the mat board that you're gonna use for the five by sevens is in this yellow bin. It is eight by 10 in size. And you can pick out either black, white, or gray. If you want, and you can just pick out whichever one you think looks best with your photo. If you want white, please make sure that it's white on both sides, that you're not using the back of a gray or black piece, okay? Which those are also white. Uh, so just check both sides if you want white. Don't waste the uh, gray or black if you're not gonna use it. So I think I'm gonna put this photo on the black. Most black and white photos typically look pretty good on black, um, unless it's too dark, then you can uh, maybe choose white or gray, but um, you can just see what works best with your photo. Now, I did trim a little bit off my white border. However, um, this is going to give me the 8x10 matte board. If I didn't trim anything off my photo, it's going to give me an actual like inch and a half border all the way around, which is what we want. Now, since I did trim a little bit off, that's totally okay. Um, I just want to make sure that it's centered and straight. You do not need to cut down the 8x10 matte board. Okay, just make sure it's in the center and that it's going to be straight. So what I usually do for these is I will just kind of eyeball it in the center. All right, make sure it's straight and centered. And then I'm gonna check it with my ruler just to make sure that it is an inch and a half on all the sides. Okay, so that is a little bit less than an inch and a half. We'll actually take this over to the irons next. A little bit, less than an inch and a half there as well. I'm actually gonna move this over so I'm closer to the irons. So once I'm ready, I can just go ahead and iron it. Now you can make, if you want to, you can certainly mark things out with a pencil very carefully. Um, just very tiny pencil marks if you wanna do that. But I like to, since we're not trimming down the mat board, and I think it's just easier this way, if I just kind of hold it down, hold it in place, double check with my ruler to make sure that it is even on all sides, and then I'm good to go. Okay, so I have an inch and a half and an inch and a half. I'm gonna slice, scoot that over just a tiny bit to make sure it's centered, okay? Double check it, make sure you're still straight and then you're going to tack down the corners of the tissue to the mat board. So when you do that, hold this down in the center and try to use the back of your hand. Hold that down in the center and carefully pull back on the photo so that you can get the iron right in there. So I'm gonna turn this a little bit so hopefully you can see the camera angle. So I'm gonna put the iron <clears throat> right in there. Make sure my picture stays still. Make sure you don't drag the iron out across the mat board, especially if you have a white mat board that will leave a mark, okay? But I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth uh, with the iron on that corner and then do the same right here at this corner. So that will do that until the tissue sticks. 
The tissue um, does not have a front or a back. It's the same on both sides. Uh, so it does not matter if you, you know, if there's not like a top or a bottom. Okay, so both of those corners are stuck down. You don't want to pull back on that too much or they will pop off, okay? And you'll have to reattach it. So at this point, you want to double check and make sure that it is straight. Make sure um, that it's where you want it to be. Your border is even all the way around. And if it's not, then at this point, you can still peel that tissue off peel the picture off if you need to, but certainly peel off the corners of the tissue and reposition it before it goes into the press because once it's been in the press, it is stuck on there and it's not gonna come off, okay? So I think this one is pretty good. It is set to go in the press. So over here at the press, um, there are two sheets of paper. The bottom part here of the press is not hot, so I can touch that. And I'm going to position my picture Scoot that back so I can do this one-handed here. Uh, I'm going to position my picture in between the two sheets of paper. Okay, just like that. Make sure you have a top sheet uh, with the picture side facing up. Okay, but you need to have that top sheet covering it. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck to the inside of the press. So this is the part that's hot inside here at the very top. That heats up to 220 degrees. You want to make sure that you don't touch the inside. The outside itself is hot enough, uh, but the inside is certainly... Uh, very hot. Okay. If the te if the press is not on, there is a temperature gauge up here at the top, so you can see that that is hot enough. There is the on-off switch here at the top as well. If it's not on, it does take about 10 minutes to warm up all the way. And again, you can kind of check it there to see when it reaches temperature. Um, do not change the uh, temperature dial. Okay. So that is taped down, so it does not get moved and accidentally scorch somebody's picture. The handle all the way around the back side, you wanna reach around, grab that, pull that all the way down till it's in the front, and you're gonna leave that in there for 30 to 45 seconds. You can count the time if you want to, uh, but 30 to 45 seconds, and then it will be ready to come out and finish up.